Hello everyone and thank you for viewing this DIY geodesic dome video. When you think of a geodesic dome, are you thinking of this or picturing this or maybe this? Well, a geodesic dome is just a round structure composed of a whole bunch of triangles. I will show you some diagrams of what we will be building later in this video. Before we get started, please make sure you go to the OLPL YouTube site. There you'll be able to see all the other videos that the other library staff are putting together. So you can check that out uh, at the link that I'm going to put right over there. Now, when you're building a geodesic dome, there is some math involved and geometry. We are making a two vector dome. That means we will have two different lengths of rolled papers, an A and a B. If you look below, here are some images of a two vector, a three vector, and a four vector dome. The higher the vector, the higher the number of different size struts, or in our cases, rolled paper tube lengths. Since I'm not with you to help review diagrams, a two vector geodesic dome will hopefully have the least amount of complications for you and your family. So, for this project, my A pieces are 24 inches long. My B pieces are 21 inches long. How did I get those numbers? Well, for the A piece, that was just the size of my paper that I had consistent when I rolled it up. If you have longer pieces of paper, use that. If you have shorter pieces of paper, use that. Once I had that A length, you want to take that number times 88.3%. That will actually shrink down to your B pieces. For me, that ended up to being 21 inches. But if you are using 10 inches, it'll shrink it down. If you're starting with 36 inches, again, it'll shrink it down. So you have your A's and your B's. Your A's, you're gonna wanna have 35 of them. And B, you're going to want to have 30 of them. And in the diagram that I'm gonna show you next, it'll show the A's and the B's. A's are red in the diagram and B's are blue in the diagram. Did you notice all those triangles in that diagram? Triangles are the superheroes of shapes because they have fixed angles. You push on one angle and the pressure is evenly distributed to the other sides. They are used in many different types of construction. The next time you are in a car, look around for triangles. I'm sure you'll find some. The diagram also had many five-sided pentagons and six-sided hexagons. They were all made with triangles. Who said you'll never use geometry in the real world? Bah! You will need something to roll your newspapers on. I have this nice smooth pen here. However, when it gets rolled up into the newspapers, I can't reach the pen. So I have this long piece of string or tape whatever you like, that I can be able to pull the pen out of my newspaper. You'll also need some tape, any type of tape will do, and again, newspaper. So the first thing you want to do is open up your newspaper, and you want to get a page that opens up into a large sheet. If you have two of these, that is okay. You can put them on top of each other. If you don't have two of these and you only have some half sheets, what you can do is you can stack them on top of each other 
and that way it'll make a double thickness sheet. You do want them at least two pages thick so that you can have a thicker paper roll. Next what you want to do is take your pen and you want to roll on the diagonal. Now because it is windy outside today, I'm going to see if I have a second double sheet here so that it's easier and doesn't blow away. Ah yes, I have two sheets. So two big sheets, that will make it much easier for this project. Take my pen, go to one corner, and on the diagonal, I want to roll. So I'm rolling my paper up. You can see this is why it's important to have that string or something on the end of your paper. Keep that roll nice and tight. Now I want to have a piece of tape to tape this closed. geodesic dome that's a two vector you're going to need at least 65 individual tubes. Now when I build this I might need some supports so having extra tubes available that you can leave nice and long attached together in a V so that you can use them as supports while building if you're doing this by yourself is very helpful. If you have people that are there to help hold up your dope as you are building, then you won't need those extra pieces. So now that I have this tube right here, uh, you will need 35 A pieces and 30 B pieces. For this particular dome, I made 24 inches for my A and 21 inches for my B. So I have my wonderful yardstick here. I'm going to cut off one bottom end so that it's straight. Use my yardstick. Measure up. So this would be 24 inches. So I will need 35 of these and 30 of the shorter ones at 21 inches. I will then color all of my A's red so that I will remember that those are the long ones and all of my shorter ones, which is B, I'll make them blue. Um, apples are red, uh, so I will color A's apples reds and the shorter ones that I make will be for the blue. So once you have all of these rolled and put a mark on there with color, then you can start building your decagon on the ground with your first 10 A's, which have the red color on them. Now that you have all your pieces cut and color coordinated, take 10 red pieces or A's and make a decagon, a ten-sided shape. Now take ten more reds or A's and make triangles on every other piece.
with the blue, the shorter pieces, take 10 of those and in between make 10, make triangles on five of the sides. Now it's time to tape all the bottom corners. That's one done. actually sandwiching my pieces in between the packaging tape. Here is a close-up view of my taping technique for the bottom section. It can be modified for each connection level as you work your way up the dome and you don't have the ground to support all of the pieces together. Now that all the bottom braces are done, now I need to start doing 10 blue pieces to attach around the top.
and yes, I need more tape. This project takes a lot of tape. It's looking pretty good. Now, I need to start making some additional pieces on the inside with two of the red A, the longer pieces, and one of the blue, so I can be building my shapes. Now, in the center of each blue, I'm gonna add another blue. the two reds on each of the red corners. doing the top connection. Of course I need more tape. All right, time to get tape in again. Now it's time to connect the reds to the blue. I need more tape. Now I can use the rest of my reds to close off the top. some more support since I'm doing it by myself. red one across here and another my last red one behind me all 
I'm just adjusting these supports so that it's really not resting on them, but they're there just in case. Now I get to finish up with the blue pieces and put on the roof. But of course I need more tape. Okay, I'm gonna check all of my seams here. Oh, that one's loose. All right, it's time to remove the supports. And there we have it, a two-vector geodesic dome made out of newspapers with the A's being 24 inches and the B's being 21 inches. If your newspaper or paper is longer, it'll be larger.